the Osmo Mobile 2. Is it worth it? Mm, depends. What's up guys, Eyes here because now Eyes can. Thanks for visiting my channel. This is where I share my thoughts, feedback on tech items or gadgets that I use or pique my interest. Now off the bat, let me just start by saying that the Osmo Mobile 2 is actually my very first gimbal, maybe smartphone or digital cameras. Now the Osmo Mobile 2 is running at around $140 if I'm not mistaken. I'll put some links on the show notes below so that you guys could have a look. And also I'll put the DJI website for product details. But to summarize some of the features that are pretty common on gimbals, you actually have for the Osmo Mobile 2, when you use the DJI app, you can do motion time-lapse, you can do ordinary time-lapse, you can do a hyperlapse and you can also track a subject. So on to the question, do you need a smartphone gimbal and you, should you be buying one? My answer is it depends because if you're not really into filming or you just think it looks cool or something like that, I suggest not to because I actually have a friend who bought the Osmo Mobile 2 but it's just collecting dust. So. It really depends on how you want or foresee yourself using the gimbal. You have to bear in mind that one, you have to be patient because this will not make you a cinematographer like in overnight. Nope, it's not. You have to learn the techniques like those you may have heard the uh, ninja walk and locking your elbows. So you have to learn all those in order to achieve it. Do you have to be creative because with all gadgets it has its limitations so you have to figure out how you can achieve those smooth crane shots perfect panning and all that and stitching them together and creating a good story third i think you should have the desire like what i mentioned my friend bought the osmo mobile too but he hasn't been using it that much so to me it's not a good investment for me, I use it for my B-rolls when I review products and also for some family gathering or events that I want to cover. And I'll share with you guys a short clip that I took of my niece, which I'm very fond of. Having said all that, if you have the patience and you're creative enough and also you have the desire to continue doing filming and your, your documentaries, travel vlogs and all that, by all means, the smartphone gimbal will actually help maximize what you can do with your smartphone. And it will help you also create smoother pictures or smoother videos to tell your story. But if you think you won't have the time or the patience to learn the techniques of using the gimbal, I'd suggest just keep the $140 and spend it on something else because you have to want to do something before you invest on a gear. Oh, and one more thing to note, 
a lot of YouTube videos that you will see on smartphone gimbals are done by like professionals or people who have been on the filming scene for quite a while. So don't be too disillusioned that overnight you'll be able to do these videos because it takes time, it takes practice and mastering a lot of techniques in order to create these videos. My video isn't even half as good as what they could do. So just be aware and be conscious of that fact. Well, that's about it, guys. I actually just wanted to give my thoughts on the Osmo Mobile 2 or gimbal in general. Hope you found it quite helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them on the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible. Now, if you like this video, click on the like button and consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that you get notified if I post something new. All right guys, until the next video, thanks again for watching and let's all remember, we're all here to learn. Peace.